we have misunderstood yoga. So many misconceptions about yoga are being spread all over the world. Number one, yoga is not an exercise. There are eight limbs of yoga, what's called ashtanga yoga, means eight limbs of yoga given by the sage Patanjali. And in those eight limbs, one of them, limb number three, is asana. Those are the physical postures. So that is an aspect of yoga, finding a freedom, a strength, a flexibility in the body, feeling the way that body is in balance with the elements, with the universe, feeling the way the breath moves through it. But yoga is not the exercise. Number two, yoga is not a religion. Yoga does not require you to believe in God in a specific way, to subscribe to a specific religion, to chant a particular mantra or prayer. Yoga is a science an art, a system of reuniting this individual self, this body, mind, drama, story, complex with the fullness, the wholeness, the truth of who we are. Number three, as yoga is not a religion, yoga does not make you Hindu. A lot of people have this fear of, oh my God, if my kids do yoga in school, are they going to become Hindu? Or, oh my God, if we teach yoga here or there, does that mean that we are somehow converting people to Hinduism? Of course not. This science, this system, yes, was developed in the Himalayas, in these sacred mountains, by sages and rishis who came here, who meditated, and who channeled these truths for all of us. But the truth is one. Benefiting from this science, from this art, from this system, is going to make you a more grounded, more anchored, more connected, more healthy being. It is not going to change your religion. In the same way that when we take Ayurvedic herbs or tinctures or powders, we don't become Hindu. If you take Trifla in the night for an upset stomach and you wake up in the morning and you have a beautiful bowel movement in the morning and your system is clear, well, you don't wake up a Hindu just because you took Trifla in the night. Yes, the science of Ayurveda was also channeled, developed, intuited by sages and saints and rishis and yogis here in these Himalayas. But that doesn't mean that the medicine is only for people of a certain religion or that taking it will change your religion. So yoga is not a religion and doing yoga does not make you Hindu. What yoga does is it connects you to the truth of you, to a fuller, wholer, deeper, healthier you. And then that you moves through the world, creating ripples of health, fullness, and wholeness, and unity in our world.